<laughs> oh, I just got home from work and uh, I'm tired. I didn't even get to sit down. I just came in, threw dinner on and uh, yeah. So <clears throat> I made, did I show you guys? I don't even know anymore. I don't think I did. <clears throat> I made another elephant last night. I was up until one o'clock in the morning making her. Um, no, I didn't show you. Um, <clears throat> so here she is. <laughs> I can't show you show it to you because it's old. <laughs> um, but I can't show you a picture. Now, this is what she looked like when I finished making her and this is what she looked like in her new home um, this wonderful lady that comes to the market she comes and plays the organ yes she plays the organ <laughs> um, for all the seniors in the area they come to the market like once a month or whatever and they come and listen to her and she does this Hawaiian thing, you know, so, <clears throat> oh, here comes, oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, yeah, good man, oh, and this is what, what's in my cup? Orange, what is it, orange cream, Mike's Hard Lemonade, orange cream. Yes. 25% proof alcohol. It's not. <laughs> oh, but it does taste like a creamsicle and, you know, they go down real fast and real easy. <laughs> so I got to be careful. Oh, wow. That's nice. Um, so she comes and she plays the organ for everybody and uh, she drives her little scooter around the market and talks to everybody. Like she comes in all the time and She's like, oh, hello, how are you? And she's, uh, I think she might be British. I'm not sure. But um, she's 87 years old, I found out today. Wonderful lady. Wonderful lady. So um, Angela from the cr Crazy Critter Cookies. Oh, I can never get her name right. Um, she's the dog food lady, Bailey's best friend, I swear to God. <clears throat> um, she came, I went and showed her Ellie the elephant and I says, what do you think? She's like, oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, she says, you got to wait till Jane, Jane, Jan, Jane, uh, wait till she comes by. She's going to, she's going to love it and she's going to buy it. I'm like, mm, really? And she says she loves elephants and she loves stuffed animals. And I was like, mm, okay. So um, she came by and Angela's like, she's here. <laughs> I got to show her the elephant. So she took her around, showed her the elephant. And she was like, puts it in her cart. And she's like, here's my card. <laughs> I'm like, really? She's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so she, in the front of her cart, she just bought, as you can, as you saw in the picture, there was an octopus there that had big long legs and everything. And as soon as I saw that, of course, I thought of Sandy Duda at Leftist Right Crochet, probably one of Octavia's cousins, you know. Um, so... I was just like, oh, that's so cool. Like, I love that octopus. And a, a local lady made it, an older lady, I guess. And so she bought that one from that lady. And she had a seahorse in there as well. Just a stuffed animal. Um, not crocheted or anything. Just a regular stuffed animal. Well, she promptly took the seahorse out of there. She didn't even put the seahorse in the basket. She put it down on by her feet at where her lunch is. And she said, can you attach this please? And I was like, okay. She had these little um, uh, cords 
um, and so I took Ellie and I put her up there and I put the cord around the neck and, the, and then it hooked on to her basket and that is where she's going to be. So she's hanging out with the octopus. <laughs> so I was so happy. I was over the moon that she got to have Ellie because um, I really wanted her to go to a good home. I worked really hard on her and I think she turned out pretty cute. I took a page from Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hoot and His Crafts. I take a, took a page out of her book basically and went with the fruit theme. And I, so I put little orange peels or orange uh, slices on her, her ears and, uh, and then made the, the dress out of orange and yellow, um, yarn. So I think she turned out pretty good. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm sorry. I didn't have a chance to show her off to you. Um, but yeah, she sold really quickly. <laughs> so so now the next one I'm going to make is Cora the Koala. Um, I'm going to make her, except this time I think what I'm going to do is maybe put strawberries or cherries on her. I don't know if I'm going to do hair. Maybe. I don't know. But this is the next one that I want to make. Except I have to go and buy some more. <gasps> That's what I was going to do today. I totally... Mm, there's a fly. Really? Um, so I got to go and buy some more yellow... Or uh, gray... Um, yarn. Unless... Uh, no, I don't. No. I have some brunette velvet... I'm thinking I could make something out of that. Oh, and I am starting to make the, um, what's it called? The mm, turtle memory game. Uh, it's a turtle and you button it, button the shell and the, and the body together. And inside are a whole bunch of little baby turtles. And when you flip them over, the belly of them are different colors. So you put them all down, put all the babies down, and you have to match up the colors. There's two of each color, and the children have to match up each one. Like flip it over and see, nope, that's the wrong one. Flip over another one, see if that's it. Uh, you guys know how the memory game works, right? So I'm. that's what I'm making right now. Uh, and then I'm also going to be making the koala except this time I'm thinking I'm not going to put the big stuffies in the shop yet I decided that I'm going to stockpile because I can't keep up with doing one one at a time so and it doesn't give anybody a real chance because I just put out a, a ad or a post in in like seven different groups saying hey new in the shop well, it went so quickly that there wasn't anything to look at. So I'm going to start stockpiling. And once I get enough, um, then I'll put them out. Tomorrow, my uh, change room goes in. I'm getting a half wall built. And they're going to put my change room on that wall now. <sighs> um, so one of the like death and then one of the tables has to come out and all that stock that was on there is coming out and it's going to be put away for the, until winter time um and then yeah we're gonna revamp the shop again oh it seems like it's never ending <laughs> So that whole wall that had the jewelry on it is going to change. I'm going to look on Amazon tonight and see what I can come up with because I do need to have a couple of racks for hanging clothes because the grid wall that was attached to my, uh, like my uh, gate that was on that one wall is going to be coming off now um, because they're going to be putting that wall there and then he's going to attach the gate on the end of that wall. So that gate was actually part of my grid wall that I was hanging stuff on. 
I know that was a long explanation and you probably don't even know what I'm talking about, but just trust me. I now need more wall space for hanging clothes on. And I don't want to put up grid wall or anything because the wall that my jewelry is on is going to be the stationary wall for my shop. The side wall that has all my grid wall on, that has my t-shirts on, eventually that wall will be coming down. So, <clears throat> yeah. So for that one, the other wall, um, I've got to figure out how I'm going to display my jewelry. So I'm thinking I'm going to go on Amazon and I'm going to look and see how much it's going to cost for some shelves. And then I can bolt the shelves into the wall and then I can put all my jewelry on that and then have a rack like racking on underneath to hang the clothes that I've got there. Um, and you know, it's it's a it's going to be an ongoing thing. <laughs> so there's that. Um, so anyways, I, I have a little bit of work to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm going to definitely stockpile these. I honestly, I didn't think they were going to be as popular as they were. I should know better because there's a lot of channels out there that solely do amigurumi and plushies and they do <clears throat> excuse me, they do really really well I actually just came across a, a channel um, this morning just briefly I was watching one of her um, craft fair prep videos or whatever and she said that she made like five thousand dollars and I was like Mm, come on girl really but she was selling her amigurumis like the one I made like that size she was selling it for like 45 50 dollars in Canada I'm like what and all of her stuff she sold like crazy she didn't I don't think she had anything under well she had a few things that like little things that were like 10 15 dollars but for the majority, like her plushies and stuff, she was selling them for anywhere from $25 up to, you know, $80. And I thought, holy crap. My friend, she does plushies. She does the Old Souls. Um, if you don't know Old Souls, I think it's called Old Souls. Um, she does these patterns for these amazing plushies. Well, my friend Helen, um, she does these plushies and she sells, excuse me, she sells them for over, you know, $50, $50, 40, dollars $50 and over, I think. Um, I'm actually going to go and have a, you know, chin wag with her tomorrow. I'm going to go for coffee with her and pick her brain and just say, look, you know, I don't know what to do, like how to price this stuff because I, this is not my genre really uh so but it's becoming that way <laughs> i sent a message to my bestie sandy she's feeling so much better by the way uh she's at home now and she's walking around um her toes are back to the normal color she's feeling better she's not 100 percent. she won't be 100 percent for a while <clears throat> but um so i sent her a picture of my plushie and says you know look what i made and she laughed at me and she says, you know, for a woman who said that she was never going to ever do amigurumi, you seem to be doing it a lot. <laughs> and she's right. You know, like, look at all these guys. Like, seriously? Um, but I'm finding that the bigger plushies, like the bigger ones like this, I'm actually really enjoying. So, um... Yay, blanket yarn. That's all I got to say. Man, it makes the job so much easier and faster. But man, it's expensive here. Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hootenance, she told me that she gets her her yarn, her, is it Burnett Blanket? Or is it, maybe it's a Hobby Lobby brand that's similar. For $7.99 and she gets it on sale for cheaper than that. Um, ours is $14.99. Like, that's insane. 
So um, it's no wonder that Canadians are selling their plushies for way more. But uh, yeah, I'm new at this, so I've got to figure it all out. But anyway, um, yeah, so I just wanted to touch base with you guys and tell you all of that. So I've got ads add-ons that I'm going to be putting up. I don't know if it's before or after this clip, but you'll see it all. So anyways, I can smell dinner. Um, I got to go and check and make sure I'm not burning it. Because <laughs> uh, that never happens, right? Yeah. So anyway, okay, guys, I love you all. And I'll talk to you soon.